Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, Christ y salam, welcome to the channel, y'all, chesh and yak, shumash, good day, y'all, ni haw. In today's video, I have got a little bit of sad news, first of all, my Bissell Spot Clean that I've had for a couple of years has died, unfortunately, so I have a new machine to uh, show you guys and to demonstrate, you'll see from the title, but anyway... This Bissell Spot Clean has been pretty good. I've used it a number of times over a number of years, but unfortunately, the pump, let me get you a bit closer and I'll, um, I'll show you the issue. Okay, yeah, so unfortunately, the pump, if I take this cover off, inside here is where the pump is and unfortunately the pump on it has, has stopped working um, it just started to leak I've tried to fix it um, by using some glue and some tape and some like a rubber seal but unfortunately nothing it kind of like worked for a little while but then it just it just stopped. So yeah, so unfortunately the pump on this has gone, which is a real shame because the motor and everything still works on it, but it's just it's just leaking and it won't pump any solution through anymore. It just goes absolutely everywhere. I can't replace this, so unfortunately it's such a shame that I have to literally trash the entire thing because I can't get it to work. So, I will cut the cable off from it. There's nothing I need to save. So, this is just going to go to the recycling center. And that's the end of that. So, I have something new to show you. Ta-da! And this is it. This is the Vax Spot Wash Spot Cleaner. I bought this machine a couple of months ago, so and I have used it once. Ooh. Let's get the destructions out. So, like I said, I've used it once when we were staying at my sister's house. Our dog Gilligan, our elderly dog, unfortunately had a little bit of an accident. So they didn't have um, a spot cleaner. I knew that the Bissell was broken and I needed a new one. So this was on offer in Argos, this Vax Spot Wash. So it works on the same principle as the other one. It is slightly bigger, but it is lighter. We have, again, two tanks. This is the collection tank. Then to empty it and do the top, pour it away rinse it put the lid back on clips into sh into space into place here we have the water tank we have a measuring thing and also that screws on then when you're ready that fits in and clicks on we have the hose just like the standard one. A little bit longer on this than the other one, not, not far, only by a couple of centimeters that I measured it to release the tool. So you can actually use this if you wanted to as um, a spot for stains and then attach it on just like so. Use the trigger and suck it. There's also the brush. It comes with this little clip on thing so you can detach the brush part. So if you didn't want to use anything, you could just do it like that if you just wanted to purely suck uh, a liquid up and that won't get in the way. You've also got this soft but tough rubber thing as well that you can put on there that clips on as well. So you can use the rubber part as well. So that's really handy. I'll put this one back on. Comes with a little bottle of solution, spot washer. Uh, what does it say on the back? 
<clears throat> it's the model CD CW CS XS. Jeez. Wattage 400 watts, 220 to 240 um, volts. The thing I like about it on this is that it has a self clean port. This is really good. So what you do is you take off the hose like so, and then what you do is you insert, uh, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, a little like this. You insert it and push, and what it will do is release the liquid automatically so you don't have to pull the trigger. When you push it in, it, it pushes the trigger on, and then all the liquid comes through and then goes through the hose. So if you've got clean solution left in the tank, or you can empty out the solution and put water, you will then be able to rinse out the hose. And again, I've tried this and I'll show you, and it's bloody brilliant. So the first thing we need to do, because it's time again, is to give my worktop rug a bit of a clean. So the first thing I'm going to do is give it a good vac. pulled out a lot bit of fluff from there and what I'm gonna do now no that's for the old one I am gonna go fill it fill up the tank with water and a dropper solution and I'll be back in a moment okay so I got some warm water and I'm gonna clip this onto the side nice and easy Plug it in. Right. Okay, I'm going to put the spot wash there. And I'm going to, first of all, just spray the area, switch it on. So I really wanted to soak it because I really wanted to um, get in. I'm going to give it a little brush with this. Suck it up.
Okay, so from that quick pass, as you can see there, we've picked up a nice bit of dirty water. Now I'm gonna go over it using the spray arm while I suck up. Okay, so as you can see, it has definitely done a good job on that. It was quite manky. It's damp, it's wet, of course. So what I wanna do now to finish off is I want to self-clean the hose. So we take off the scrubby part, turn the machine on, and then push it in like so, yeah? So, hang on a sec, if that's... Yeah, it's definitely only goes in one way. <clears throat> all right, goes all the way in. So we switch it on. And there we go, the hose is rinsed out. The water tank is now empty. There's a tiny little drop in it. And all the dirt is contained inside of this. Absolutely fantastic. I love that feature. I think it's really good. And as you can see, it's definitely picked out a lot of scrap from the um, mat. It's done a really good job. Right, now. This is something that you should do after you use it. Let me get a cloth. So unplug the device and just make sure that you wipe off any moisture from the seals or the machine itself. Now, especially there's a little spongy filter in here let me just get it out. There. Make sure that's dry. And then use a cloth just to make sure 
that there's no remaining water in there or just to dry up as much as you can because any remaining water or solution in there can damage the pump which is what I think happened to the other one so I'm going to put more, much more attention into make sure that that is dried out before I put it away I'll put the spongy thing back on but I'm going to leave it dry let me just wind the hose back up the lead I mean sorry hose back around so I'm going to give this a rinse out this a clean out and dry and give this a rinse out of any solution and leave the thing entirely completely dry out before I put it back on and put it away it's quite important that you do that and there we go so far so good that is like the fifth time or fourth fourth time I've used it um, I used it when we were at my sister's house and I used it on a spot by the front door where poor old old Gilligan had a bit of an accident gonna leave this mat dry I'll put it outside and I'll come back to you in another video but yeah just a quick overview of this so so far so good I really like it and the auto clean feature time will tell of course but I will pay far more attention to it to make sure that it's completely dry before I put it away uh, compared to the Bissell spot cleaner but there we go guys thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next episode bye y'all